Hi, I'm Mayor Tim Balderman. I'd like to welcome you to this edition of Community Business Spotlight. Joining me today is Dr. Jennifer Bertino Tarrant from the Will County Regional Office of Education, and of course, she is our regional superintendent. Doctor, thanks for being here. Thank you for inviting me. All right, well, you're a little different uh, <laughs> than we normally have in here. We talk about you know local businesses, and, and that's wonderful, but I'm excited to have you here today. Uh, obviously, uh, it's, it's tough to argue that there's anything more important than the education of our children. So tell me a little bit about the regional office. Tell me what you do in your capacity there. I'm more than glad to. Uh, the regional superintendent is the only elected uh, educator in, the, in Illinois, and uh, we are the liaison between the school districts and the state board. We are actually state employees. Um, I get paid by the state, okay. and as well as my assistant superintendent. However, we are supported by Will County. My staff is all Will County employees. And the office um, conducts a, a variety of services for the students, the community, and teachers. Uh, we're most known for our teacher certification and professional development. We're required to make sure the teachers have other certifications up to date and to ensure that they are keeping up with professional development. Uh, truancy is a big piece of our requirement, our responsibilities. Uh, we oversee the, uh, the court system. We work with the court system to ensure our students are going to school. We have a truant officer that works with those students and we work with the schools and um, uh, we make sure they're complying with the law. And especially yeah. when you talk about truancy, I'm yeah. sure that as time has gone on in your career, mm -hmm. that's become more and more of an issue, hasn't it? It, it, it becomes more uh, prevalent, yes. And obviously, um, in our society today, it's becoming more of a uh, burden on the community once students do leave uh, the school system. I was reading something recently that they say once a child leaves the school, it can cost the state up to eight hundred thousand dollars for that for that child wow. uh, through their their lifespan. Whereas keeping them in school uh, through this whole the, their whole career is, is about a hundred thousand dollars to maintain a good truancy program. So it's definitely uh, worth. Uh, the the county having a truancy officer and, and keeping those kids uh, keeping an eye on those kids and those families. Uh, no doubt about it. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about your history in education. Okay. I think you've got some roots here in I, the community. I, 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 so I do. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. Okay. I started off as a teacher at Providence Catholic here in New Lenox, and I left there to to come right here to the New Lenox School School District, where I was an assistant principal mm -hmm. at uh, Nelson Prairie and Nelson Ridge. And I also, I always have to thank Dr. Tom Mullins, who was a superintendent at the time, because. Uh, he took a chance, you know, as a Catholic school teacher, as a high school, and he brought me into this community, and uh, I, I loved it here, I really did. But it was during the time that we were fighting a referendum, and the assistant principals were going to be cut. So during, they weren't sure mm -hmm. if they were, you know, they were going to pass. So I left um, mid-year and became a principal in Shanahan. Mm -hmm. So um, I was there, and until I had my second child, I, I stayed home for about a year and a half, and then I, I. Uh, got into politics and I'm now the regional superintendent. And here you are. And That's here I am. Wonderful. Yes. And you've been serving in that capacity now for how long? This is my third year. Right. I'm in my first term and third year and uh, um, this will continue until July of 2011. What do you see as the biggest challenges facing us here in education these days? As the regional superintendent, what are your concerns and how do you try to plan for that? Uh, well, obviously, like everyone else right now, it's, it's money issues. Mm -hmm. We are we're battling um, with funding, uh, school districts. You know, we know the whole the whole issue about school funding in general. Mm -hmm. Whether or not we need to, we should be so relying on property taxes. Uh, but for some people right now, that's how they're staying afloat because the state is really not following through on their their commitment. Um, we run a couple of our programs through grant dollars, uh, and we have gotten zero dollars throughout the, the the whole year. So we are running on our state aid. And unfortunately, the state aid money is coming from ARA funds, which is the stimulus money. Okay. So um, they're using the stimulus money to pay what they're obligated to pay us. So we are right now really struggling on keeping um, many of our, our very viable and needed programs, such as truancy um, and our alternative school, our safe school, where we, we uh, work with students in lieu of expulsion. Um, we're trying to keep them afloat. Oh. And it's, it's a tough decision, you know, schools are going to be impacted. We have a good 250 students that, if this money doesn't come through, you know, they're going to be on, on the street. 
So oh. it, it's very unfortunate. That's an awful lot of responsibility yeah. that you have and you're mm -hmm. trying to do your job well and unfortunately you're relying on other agencies yeah. to come through. So that's tough. It, it, is, it is tough. Um, I always do say this whenever I speak though, Will County is a great community. Mm -hmm. And you know, I have, I have, whenever I ask, and it's not always, I always say it's not money, it's even if it's money, it's people, they always work with us and they sure. really try to help us uh, maintain the programs and um, and offer what they can because they recognize that education is, is critical. It's it's crucial to our community. So it is absolutely. We're very fortunate here. Now you also touched on the fact that your office oversees is a teacher development mm -hmm. and making sure they stay up on certifications, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Right. That talk about that a little bit because I don't. It is a never-ending education for educators right. as well. Correct. Exactly. Uh, teachers are required what we call CPDUs. Um, to maintain within a, uh, to, in order to renew their certificate, they have to maintain a, a certain amount of professional development to make sure that they are um, on top of important topics, they're learning new things continually. So they have to um, attend workshops, they have to make sure that they are continuing their professional development. We like to say it's one of those um, unfunded mandate because they're required to do it, however, the state does not give the school districts any money to do it, to do this. So, um, school districts are fighting to put that in their budget, or if not, their teachers are required to um, obtain that cost themselves to continue their professional development. That's very interesting. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of people don't know that. Yeah. Uh, there are a lot of costs that are associated with education, yeah. and certainly we talk about unfunded mandates. They hit a lot of us in government, and, right. that's, and that's one of them. Right. Uh, but you're right, uh, you don't have the teacher that gets their certificate and then just teaches for the next 35 years. They right. have to stay on top. Of right. It. Which, you know, and I, I have to say, it's a good thing. It's sure. obviously, is, you, you know, it, it's a very good thing uh, in any business to, to make sure that you are current. Um, about but however, you know, it's, it's definitely a, a burden on the teacher and the, the school districts to continue that. It's not that it's a good, not a good idea. They just need to help out when they make these requirements. That's right. It would be nice. <laughs> yes. You're right. We should stay on that. <laughs> I will tell you, um, as the mayor of the community, of course, I'm a former school board president, but as the right. mayor of the community, uh, I know that people come out to New Lenox because of our wonderful grade schools. Mm -hmm. uh, St. Jude has a great school as well. Uh, Providence and our Lincoln Way schools. I mean, we, education is really central here mm -hmm. in New Lenox. Mm -hmm. And uh, I appreciate the fact and I'm grateful that our regional superintendent has got some ties to the community as well. So yeah. we, we, we love being here. It's a, it's a great community and uh, all of New Lenox, the whole Lincoln Way area, New Lenox area should be very proud of their schools. They do yeah. outstanding jobs. And they do have a ripple effect. You talk about kids need to stay in school and of course what it means to a community if they don't but it does attract local business it attracts additional growth and so our schools are really important any messages or any any last things you'd like to say to our viewers about education or about your office in general um not that i can think about the office like i said please you know we are a community resource we do get a lot of questions from the community and we're always willing to help um, our, our local citizens in any way we can. Um, it, people don't really know about the regional superintendent or the regional office, but it's a it's definitely a resource for parents. It's definitely a resource for students. Uh, we have scholarships, so that um, and we do offer. Um, uh, that's what I'm looking for. Um, we're a support system to our community. Oh, so I, I hope people turn to the regional office for that. And I know you have been, and I know you're doing a very good job. And uh, we certainly it. appreciate I your appreciate efforts <laughs> and making sure that education stays at the forefront of everyone's mind. Uh, and I'll just wrap up with that. I'm assuming you do have to talk to state legislators and county people on a regular basis, really pushing your agenda as well and pushing education, correct? We work with our legislators. We just had a breakfast with them over at Lincoln Way last week. So we make sure that we are in open communication. We we need to educate them as well. So. Well, Doctor, thank you very much. Thank I appreciate you, you being here Thank you here for today. having me. I appreciate it. Oh, thank my you. pleasure. And I want to thank all of you for watching this edition of Community Business Spotlight.